Hi, I'm Andy Howard, a Keysight EDA Applications Engineer. Power amplifier designers need to attain performance objectives at multiple output power levels and over frequency. ADS supports optimizations of such objectives, but the setups can be non-obvious. I have created an ADS example workspace that shows several simulations and optimizations of a Doherty power amplifier over frequency and power. My objective is to show you what is possible so you can get started right away or use these as starting points for more complex optimizations. Certainly, you can use tuning or parameter sweeps to obtain insights about your design, but you are more likely to attain the best performance from optimization. Even though I have used ADS for decades, I still need to start simple and build up optimizations step by step. These are things to consider. Simulations, S parameters, harmonic balance, envelope, some combination of these. Measurements, how do you extract the performance data from the simulations? Variables to optimize, ideally you can limit these to only the ones that matter. Allowed ranges of values, if the ranges are too large, the optimized values could be unrealistic or you could run into convergence problems. If too small, they won't affect the performances enough to matter. Specification limits. Sometimes these are hard limits, other times there could be trade-offs. Weighting factors. Often you need to adjust these to make performance trade-offs. Optimization algorithms. Results and the time required will vary with the algorithm. You may want to start with random for quick debugging, then move on to a better algorithm. Number of trials. Often algorithms reduce the error function quickly within the first one or two trials. Having a large number of trials may just waste time with minimal improvement. Optimizations are very much problem dependent, so it is difficult to make generalizations. Some experimentation will almost certainly be required. This example starts with a simulation which is useful for debugging and verifying that we can get all the performance data we will want to optimize. You need to make sure a simulation outputs what you want prior to attempting an optimization. This has an optimization of efficiency and gain over a range of input powers and frequencies. Although you most likely want to optimize performance data at several or over a range of output powers, this is a simpler optimization and may be satisfactory. Performances at XDB gain compression and at one backed off output power level Computed from simulating the optimized design are shown, but these are not part of the optimization. This is a more useful optimization of the gain and phase shift over a range of output powers, as well as the power added efficiency at two output powers. Frequency is not swept. This optimization includes a source frequency sweep. This optimization runs a source power sweep at each trial. The gain, gain compression, and power added efficiency are interpolated at two output powers with the results used in goals. The small signal gain at a lower output power is also optimized, which allows you to limit gain expansion if necessary. These results show the goals are not satisfied. Note that it would be easy to add goals at more output powers. This optimization is the same as above, except it includes a source frequency sweep. You may want to evaluate your power amplifier's performance using modulated signals also. Many examples using modulated signals are available. To summarize, this example shows some advanced optimization techniques that power amplifier designers should find very useful. The example is meant to get you going quickly or be a starting point for more complex optimizations. Supported customers may download this example from the Keysight EDA Knowledge Center using this link. You may request a free trial of Keysight ADS using this link.